How's it going guys? Indigenous Rookie Cards, aka Name, coming at you with another video exclusively for YouTube. How are y'all doing? I hope you're all doing well on this uh, Tuesday evening. I hope you had a long week, great long weekend if you're in Canada. Um, I just have a few packages to open. These, are, I'm pretty sure these are all packages um, that are for the base card project, but um, I'll just give you a, a little bit of an update on that um, before I open them. But first, uh, and there's just something I wanted to uh, say before I move forward into my video. And I usually don't say anything and uh, about things that happen in sports or in the world when I come onto my social media accounts, especially on YouTube. But um, last night, the uh, Oilers just lost. Um, they lost uh, in overtime, triple overtime to Winnipeg. And it was a hell of a game. It was a great game. And uh, uh, it was unfortunate that... Uh, you know, um, Ethan Bear just happened to give the puck away in the third period um, to the Winnipeg Jets, who in turn tied the game and sent it to overtime, and then they they uh, won in uh, the third overtime. Just um, when Ethan Bear happened to be um, leaving the ice. Anyway, um, there was a lot of uh, really negative backlash towards Ethan on the internet over the last 24 hours um, just very negative things being said to him um, I'm not gonna mention any of it um, a lot of it was pretty terrible um, if you want to look it up go ahead you can look on Twitter you can look on his Instagram page you can look on the Edmonton Oilers Instagram page uh, all the comments that were left behind and I just think it's really unfortunate that uh, you know the the fan base uh, as upset as they were um, chose to handle the situation that way and and take their frustrations out on him when it wasn't even his fault like it was he plays on a team and uh, when you look at the last three games they were all overtime games so it was a very tight series and all of those games were won by Winnipeg who scored their goals when they needed to and I'm not here to be critical towards the Oilers I, I do like the Oilers um, I, I do cheer for them especially because Ethan is on the team but um, I just felt it was really unfortunate that it was handled that way and um, you know some things were brought to light um, this afternoon um, by his girlfriend on her social media accounts and uh, it's just really unfortunate that things happened that way but um, what I wanted to do um, in response to that is to do something positive so uh, what I put on my personal Twitter account, what I put on my Indigenous Rookie Cards Instagram account is that um, I've asked everyone to uh, wear their jerseys of Indigenous athletes this Friday, May 28th, in support of all their hard work and support of everything that they've accomplished, um, just to bring some positive light back to the situation and to show everyone how much we support Indigenous athletes. and. Um, uh, I, I just think it would be amazing if everyone could participate in that. And maybe this could be the first of many uh, Indigenous Jersey Days. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing on people's social, social media accounts um, what kind of jerseys they're wearing. Um, it can be from any sport. Um, just threw it out there uh, that um, you can provide support that way. And uh, I'm, I just, I, I'm hoping it will, uh, it'll be... Uh, <laughs> it'll be accepted by people and people will want to participate in that. And I think that would be really cool. And I think it'd be a great way to show indigenous athletes how much we support them, despite um, the unfortunate events that happened this week. Um, but anyway, um, moving on from that, just a little bit of an update on what's been going on with the project. Uh, these packages arrived on, on Friday. And I was just so beat down at the end of the week. Um, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't bother making a video and I just thought I would wait until the, the new week before I, I started uh, making a video. But anyway, um, what happened last week was like, I mentioned that there was a, a news article in Alberta Native News that got picked up by Global, it got picked up by um, uh, several news outlets. So uh, CBC Calgary contacted me, they read the article and they contacted me and they invited me to be on the radio with them yesterday live. So I did a live interview with with uh, CBC Radio Calgary and it was um, transmitted 
province-wide in Alberta, which was pretty cool. I was pretty excited about being able to do that. Um, I honestly didn't think like it would be picked up that way. And uh, really like another thing that I, you know, that this is for the community, but really what I was doing is I was, I was thinking my reach would just be extended to the hobby community. Um, and really when I made the posts, um, it was to the hobby community. Um, but I guess like the mainstream community picked up on it and uh, it's been really cool. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live interview on uh, Global Saskatoon in the morning. So it'll be, um, I'll be on at 8.20 a.m. Mountain Time. It'll be a, like a four minute interview, they said, and they're just gonna ask me about you know, the purpose behind this and you know, how, how, how things have been going. And um, I, I'm gonna say like it's been pretty amazing because everyone has been really awesome and sending in cards and like, you know, being really enthusiastic about this and wanting to contribute it, contribute to it. And um, I think, you know, that just shows how amazing the people in the hobby community are. And I got like um, a ton of people emailing me, um, asking me to contribute. And it was like people outside of like my Twitter and Instagram. So um, I think what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a PO box for a little while. Um, so that way, like, you know, I'm not, at least like when I'm on Instagram, like it's my buddies messaging me. I know I'm giving out my address and it's like, you know, going, it's going to be safe and stuff. And, um, I think if I get a PO box, it just might be better to, to manage that way. And then also that way I know when things are coming to my personal mailbox, I know that they're for me and, uh, I can look forward to that as well. But anyway, um, uh, hopefully you can catch that tomorrow. It's on global Saskatoon. It's just like one of those morning shows. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a replay or anything, but uh, I think it's pretty cool and pretty awesome like uh, that people are showing an interest and that the, the reach has extended beyond the hobby community. So um, thank you so much for that. Thank you for people who shared this, who have supported this, and who have contributed to this. Um, I'm going to start getting in contact with some of the uh, people who do the hockey camps very soon and just start asking them what their summer is looking like if there's anything going on i am i know there's a couple of people doing presentations virtually and like doing training virtually so i'm just going to see what what they have planned for that and like how we can make this work for them but anyway we'll get right into it right now um and i'll just start by uh opening up the packages i'll, I'll open up this package here um, this is a package from actually um, one of my YouTube subscribers. Um, it's somebody that I interact with on on other on other pages. Uh, sorry, on other channels. So I think it's really cool that um, they're they're willing to contribute this way. And, um, they're they're not on Instagram or anything. So this was all done through through uh, YouTube. Uh, they got a note. Nate, you are doing some great service for these young kids. Best of luck. A Eric Wade Sanderson to Orr. So, uh, like I mentioned last video, I love getting these notes. I'm hanging on to all of them. And uh, this here is a stack of cards from Eric Wade um, on the front. Theo Fleury on the back. Got a little uh, Norm Markle, and that's his rookie card. This is his MVP rookie card. Um, I know that because I have one of them. So, thank you very much, Eric. Um, if you want to see what's in the packages, please check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter, all the photos are posted there. So if there are lar large packages that are sent, I will post pictures there. And this one here is uh, from a buddy back in Edmonton named Bruce, and they have a, a really cool hockey uh, goalie museum. So they've created uh, uh, a museum out of um, memorabilia that they've collected over the years, and they, you know, he takes it around to shows and and shares it with people and it's really awesome. Um, so uh, this one says name, in, uh, enjoy these cards name. I'm sure you will appreciate these more than I could. Uh, Bruce, Heroes of the Crease. So this is a, a package that I, I can open up here. So let's just see what he sent. If you want to watch YouTube videos of me opening up packages, please subscribe to me because I take long, a long time doing that. 
Oh, sick. Sick. So this is a Rennie, a Rennie Burke um, 2009 priority signings from the Canadian Spring Hockey Expo. And then this is a 2019-20 Brady Keeper dual jersey out of 199. So really awesome cards. Um, doesn't say if these are donations or not. So just to show that to you. So I'm going to clarify that with Bruce. Um, if these are for the donations or not. But anyway, thanks a lot, Bruce. These are really cool. This R Rennie Burke card is numbered 65 out of 65. Pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, next package, and this one here is from another package from Garrett Bollinger. So I did clarify with Garrett after the last video that that Brady Keeper card was for me and uh, is for my personal collection. He said that he had one package to send everything in, but there was uh, something happened at the, at the post office and he wasn't able to do it. So he sent two separate packages and this is the separate package. I have no idea what's in here. Let's see. And he said there's a note in this one. So uh, I'm expecting a little note and some clarification on what these are. Okay. Hope these packages made it out west safe and sound. Glad I contribute to your project. Cheers from Nitsitapi, Gaina Territory. Jared. So Garrett has uh, <laughs> he's taped together a number of cards, and this is pretty awesome that he was able to send this. Like, oh man, this is cool. So um, I see a lot of cool cards here: Brandon Montour, Young Guns, um, Jamie Leach rookie card, Trevor Kidd rookie card. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun to open up and to share on Instagram. So this one here for sure is for all the people. So thanks again, Garrett. You're awesome. Um, Bruce, you're awesome. Eric, you're awesome. Everyone is awesome for contributing, for supporting this, um, for subscribing to me, for, um, for supporting me and my Instagram page and my Twitter. Um, hopefully I'll see you over there if you're not. Um, but uh, yeah. Enjoy the evening. Thank you so much. I have nothing but gratitude to share with everyone for this. So um, have a great night.